Hi, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about A-level media studies and what is media studies that you might study at Christleton High School during A-level. You probably already know a little bit about the media. You may have studied at GCSE, but all of us engage with the media. We all have films that we enjoy, TV shows that we enjoy, social media that we enjoy. So let's have a little look at what the course will be all about. What is media studies? The term media is an umbrella term for lots of big industries, the film industry, television, radio, with newspapers. We'll look at magazines, music video, video gaming, and advertising. We also look a little bit at the internet, particularly when it's linked to traditional media. What does this mean in real terms? Well, we look at a range of different genres in the media, and we look at lots of different styles of media texts, focusing on what we call the key concepts, media language, media audiences, media institutions, and media representations. So let's look at those in a little bit of detail. Media language, what does that mean? Well, it means all the things that you've become so accustomed to, but probably don't really think a lot about. The use of visual images, camera shots, camera angles, editing, those kinds of things. We look at the use of colour and props and setting within a television show or a film. We look at the use of lighting and the use of sound. We look at print text and, and we may look at the font style as well as images and slogans. And we'll look at special effects, CGI. We'll also look at media audiences. Who is the text specifically aimed at? Is it aimed at you? Is it aimed at your parents? Is it aimed at your little brother or sister? These are things like demo or demographics. We also look at the kinds of people who enjoy different types of media, and this is called psychographics. We'll look at some theories as well that might link into what audiences get from the media that they watch and how it might have an impact on them. So if you think about your favourite TV programme, why is it your favourite? What is it about it that you like? What do you enjoy specifically? Do lots of other people your age enjoy that kind of text? And how was that programme created to appeal to you as a target audience? We analyse those kinds of things. We look at representation. We look at the way in which people and places are represented to us. And sometimes we look at some older texts. These are two older texts that you can see here, adverts from the 1960s, that wouldn't really be allowed now. It wouldn't be acceptable to a modern audience because of the representations that they show. And so representations can affect what we think about people and places. If you have a look at, at these two representations, the newspapers in particular, give us particular representations that can be quite damaging sometimes to the groups involved because they shape what we believe, affect what we think. Places are represented to us in a variety of ways for a particular purpose. How are we expected to see a place like London in a positive light or perhaps in a negative light? We also look at institutions, media institutions, which means the companies who make and control what we see. You can see some very well-known companies here who have quite a lot of power over the types of things that we see. Walt Disney, for example, owns a huge number of companies that create television now and films that we're all very familiar with. So we look at the institutions that make things and produce things, but we look at the controls as well, like the BBFC, the British Board of Film Classification, that makes the choices about who can see what films and gives them an age certification. Part of what we do is non-examined assessment or coursework, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but 30% of the course is related into coursework and you will have a set brief from the exam board that appears in the um, March of your first year really of A-level um, and it gives you lots and lots of different options of different kinds of things that you can create and that you can do. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of print coursework uh, that's been done recently. Okay, these are film marketing and that's always one of the briefs. 
So you can create a whole range of marketing products from posters, trailers, DVD covers and websites for a particular genre of film. These are some of uh, the lifestyle magazines that have been created by previous students. And in that you'll create the cover and a feature article, perhaps uh, some other content, and then a website to accompany your magazine. So you're trying and aiming to make your magazine look as realistic as possible so that it could really be seen on a shelf in a news agents. Some of our students work uh, on digital animation and this particular candidate made uh, a magazine that went with an opening sequence to his new TV show and he digitally animated it um, So for the first five minutes of his programme. Here are some women's lifestyle magazines and, and again we, uh, we've created for, as part of that some websites to go with these and the first few pages of the magazine so everything has original photos original stories original font and text what else is in uh, the a level well the exam syllabus comprises of two exam papers okay uh, component one which is all the text that we study in the first year and component two which is all the text that we study in the second year so it's 70 percent of the a level the other 30% being the coursework. And exams have a range of short answer questions and essay style questions uh, on the set text that we will look at over the course of the year. So in AS, we look at advertising, music video, computer gaming, film production and marketing, uh, radio, newspaper production, news values. And then at A2, we look at TV in the global age, mainstream and alternative magazines, and media in the online age. And you will have a range of questions about these topics. I've talked a bit about the, the Corsica as well, which, as we've said, is worth 30% of the overall exam. So that's the way that your exam is structured in three parts. Two exams, one from AS, one from A2, and then your coursework or non-examined assessment, as it's formally called. So what do you need to be a good media student? Well, you need a real interest in the media and you need a willingness to watch and read a very wide range of texts over the two years, some of which you may have already come across and you may enjoy, others that might not be aimed at you, but you're going to need to understand. You need to understand the way in which the media can influence our lives in a range of different kinds of ways, some good, some bad. You're going to need a willingness to discuss texts with people and discuss issues in depth and write about them in a detailed and focused way. You're going to need definitely a willingness to research and then present topics to the class via PowerPoint, handout like this on Loom. And you're also going to want to create realistic media products that will engage a target audience, get fully involved in organising, designing them, filming them and editing those texts. How can the course be useful to you? Media studies is a contemporary subject and it's relevant to all of our lives. Media saturates everything we do in the 21st century and therefore you get chance to see the ways in which it plays a big role in your life. It's a vocational subject. It involves you making your own films, writing newspapers, setting up your own website, possibly creating your own music video. You have the choice in all of these things and it's very hands on. So you get to use IT programs and different software programs in order to be able to create these things. It is an intellectually challenging course. Lots of people who haven't studied the subject don't realise the fact that it's very analytical and there's lots of theory that you need to know about as well. But there is progression. Lots of our students have gone on to do degree courses in print, television journalism, television and film production, animation, graphic design and CGI, general media studies courses, or more specific things like sound engineering and photography, and certainly advertising and marketing. There are now also some good apprenticeships in media and media related subjects. Our previous students have gone on to be really successful and we've had quite a number of students who've gone on to do degrees and are now working uh, in a range of, of 
companies that you would know. Two working for the BBC, um, we've got another one working as a researcher for Channel 4, uh, and one recent student is working for Industrial Light and Magic, has actually done some editing work on The Mandalorian. We've got others related um, in media related jobs in marketing and advertising. So lots and lots of, of roles uh, and jobs in that particular area. So thank you for listening. If you'd like to know any more, my name is Mrs. Cutler um, and please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Thank you.